Hey guys, I'll be here and welcome back to our Swift series. In this video, we're going to be learning about enumerations or short form for enums. Now, why do we use enums? Well, there's a lot of cases where we're going to have a set of data which we know is never going to change. It might be the days of the week, it might be numbers, it might be cards in a deck. In these scenarios, we know that there is a set number of possibilities that can happen. For days of the week, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. For directions, it's north, south, east, west. In these scenarios, you might use an enum to classify this data so that you don't run into spelling mistakes, you don't run into any sort of error that might occur. So let's go ahead and create an enum and then hopefully you guys will see the purpose of why we use that. So to create an enum, we go ahead and say, start off with enum keyword, so enum, and then your enum name. So for example, let's do directions, so north, south, east, west. So our enum name is going to be direction, okay? And then let's go ahead and open up our curly braces. And inside of he here, we specify specific cases. So what can be a case for direction? Well, we have case north, we have case south, we have case east, and we have case west, okay? So these are four cases that we will always have for direction. Now you might be thinking, what about northeast, southeast, southwest, stuff like that. For now, let's go ahead and leave that. Let's go ahead and just make it very straightforward. And later on, you can always add those cases if you want. But just to show what enums are, this will do just fine. So we've created our enumeration, okay? We have four cases, there's now north, south, east, and west. Now what do we do? Well, when we're creating a variable, okay, and we wanna specify what direction to go in, we can now use an enumeration instead of specifying a string. So what we might have normally done is we would have said something like var dir is equal to north, okay? This is what most of us might have done. But some people might have said var dir is equal to n. Okay, some people might have misspelled dir and said n-o-r-t-e, or they might have forgotten um, an h somewhere, okay? In each of these scenarios, we have different variations of the same thing, right? We want it to be represented by something unique, something that's the same thing over all scenarios. So that's where enumeration comes in. What we can do is, we can go ahead and say var dir is equal to direction dot north, okay? And this is standard, this stays the same. You can goof around and say, oh, is this, um, is this going to be N? Whoops, let me go ahead and delete this. N, or is this gonna be North? Or is this gonna be, basically, instead of going through these different variations, you can go ahead and just specify the one constant one, direction dot North, okay? If you try misspelling this, if you say N-O-R-H or something, Swift will immediately catch that and say that, hey, this sort of case doesn't exist, okay? So it has to be direction dot North. And once you have this direction, you can go ahead and use a switch statement to figure out what case it is and what you want to do with that result. So what you normally do with enumerations is you create an enumeration, associate it with a variable, and then switch that variable to find out what case is it. So we're going to go ahead and do is say switch dir, and then we have the different cases. So case direction dot north. If it is north, I'm going to go ahead and say print go forward, okay? case direction dot south. If the case is south, go backward. Now we don't even have to specify the direction part. We can just say case dot east because since we're switching deer, deer only has four possibilities, north, south, east, and west. So case dot east, um, print take a right, and case dot west, print take a left. Okay, fantastic. Now, one thing you're gonna notice immediately is that if you guys remember our switch case lesson, we don't have a default case in this scenario. And the reason for that is because when we have an enumeration, when we're using this sort of structure, we only have four potential possibilities. So the variable that we created over here, this dir variable has to have one of these four possibilities. And that's why once we've specified all four, we don't need a default case, okay? So direction not north, go forward, south, go backward, take a right, take a left. And once we run this, we go ahead and say, go forward. So that's the power of enumerations. It allows you to specify specific types or specific sets of data that exist. And then you can go ahead and use a switch statement to figure out what exactly happened, okay? Now comes the concept of raw values. Suppose you wanna associate that, hey, if I ever get a north, I have to go forward no matter what. If I have a south, I wanna go backward no matter what. And I don't want to put that, I don't want to use a switch statement in this scenario. What you can go ahead and do is 
for every single one of these cases, you can specify a raw value. So enum direction, every raw, every raw value is going to be string. So enum direction string, case north, north is going to be go forward. So we're, we're going to go ahead and say case north should be equal to go forward. Case south should be equal to go backward. Case east is going to be take a right. And case west is going to be take a left. Okay. So by doing this, now let's go ahead and delete this. Once we have our dir variable created and we specified its direction dot north, all we have to do is say dir dot raw value. And this raw value function will go ahead and say, okay, I know that my dir direction is north. What is the value if it's north? Go forward. And immediately on the right hand side, I see go forward. So that's the power of raw value. It allows you to immediately associate the value north, south, east, and west with a specific string, maybe an integer, anything you want it to be. Okay. So instead of using a switch statement and figuring out what it is, once we have associated our variable with a specific direction, we can just call raw value to see what the user has to do. All right. So that's enumerations in a nutshell. Again, the use case is when you don't have a lot of options, when you know that you have specified number of options, a specified number of resulting things, maybe it's north, south, east, west, maybe it's days of the week, months in the year. When you know that you have a set number of options, that's where you can use an enumeration. You create it using an enum keyword, then the enumeration name. Again, you can specify a type only if you're going to be using raw values. So you can go ahead and say case north. This is my raw value. Go forward case south, go backward, etc. to create or to associate that value with a variable vardr is equal to your enumeration name and then the type. Notice how it only gives me the four types possible east, north, south, and west. There's nothing more I can do. And that is the power of enumerations. Thanks so much for listening, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I know that enumerations might be a bit confusing, but trust me, as we progress along and as you use them more in your applications, everything will make much, much more sense. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. One, two, three.